decade after an anthrax attack killed five people in the U.S., a new report discusses the nation's public health improvements and the challenges that lie ahead. We published this report to tell the story of the public health response to the 9-11 attacks and to the anthrax attacks. It's our way of telling part of a part of the history that really isn't well known. And it tells us about the importance of having laboratory capacity and epidemiologists and scientists on the ground responding and assessing what is happening so the public can be protected. The attacks, meant to paralyze a country with fear, ultimately strengthened public health networks all over the United States. Among the gains, increased surveillance, improved communications, improved surge capacity at hospitals, and a boost to the strategic national stockpile. But challenges remain, the report said, including a need to develop alternative emergency care systems, revving up production of antivirals and antibiotics, and integrating state surveillance and reporting systems. Federal and state budget cuts threatened to undermine these gains and impede progress, the report said. Since 2009, state public health funding has dropped by $425 billion. And over the same time period, public health staffing has fallen by 15 percent. If federal financial support slips now, these gains could be lost. Until public health emergency preparedness received sufficient, sustained funding, the report said, Americans will continue to be needlessly at risk.